everybody in today's video i'm going to be doing a time lapse to show you the difference between superluminova and tritium now first let me say this isn't to say which one is better uh, they're both cool in their own rights superluminova is a little bit different because it's going to get a charge from a light source the brighter the light like the sun the more charge it's going to get whereas tritium does not get a charge from a light source it basically is a gas tube and it has a constant glow no matter what time it is. The only thing is those tubes over years will fade a little bit. I think they've got about a 25 year life. So what I'm gonna do here, the watch on the left is the Seiko Monster second generation. This is the best loom watch I've ever seen from a Superluminova standpoint. And then the watch on the right is a Protec Tritium T25 gas tube. What you're gonna see is I'm gonna charge up the Superluminova. At first that Superluminova is gonna look really bright, but as time goes on, the tritium is going to be the one that you're going to be able to see better at nighttime. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and charge the superluminova. And you can see the superluminova is really bright. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically let the video go on and we're going to see what happens over the next couple of hours. All right, so it's been just under two hours and you can see, we can still see the superluminova, but the tritium is a whole lot brighter. If you're really into being able to see your watch at any time in the middle of the night, I encourage you to look at tritium watches. This ProTech is the best I've ever used, but there's other companies out there that have tritium. Uh, superluminova is great too. And I like the fact that it's really bright when you come in from outside or you can charge it up. But uh, in terms of longevity, tritium is something to look into. I hope the video helped.